This is second grade into math module 22, lesson five, different ways to show equal shares. I can draw to show the same holes as equal shares in two different ways. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 562. We will start under build understanding. Draw two different ways to show equal shares. The first part asks us to draw halves. So I'm going to start by starting in this middle point here and just go straight across. But now I need to show a different way to show equal shares. So I've gone horizontally, which means I'm going this way. And now I'm going to go vertically, which means I go up and down. So now I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna go in the middle and draw a line all the way down. So now I have shown two ways to make halves. Let's take a look at the next part. They want us to find two ways to show thirds and equal shares. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to start, <clears throat> remember I always go in the middle and for thirds I go a little bit above the middle point and then I go a little bit below that middle point. And that way I have three equal parts and I've gone horizontal. Now I'm going to make thirds for the next rectangle and I'm going to go vertical up and down. I'm gonna do the same thing. I find that middle point right here in the middle and then I just go over just a little bit and make a line up and down and I go over just a little bit from the other midpoint and make a line up and down. So now I have three equal shares or thirds. Let's look at the next part. They want us to make fourths. So I'm going to again start with my middle point here and I'm just gonna go straight across. And then at the top, I'm going to go about halfway and make a line and on the bottom section, I make a halfway mark here and go all the way across. So now I have made fourths going horizontal. I need to try a, a different way to show the same equal shares on the other rectangle. So I'm gonna go up and down vertical. So I'm gonna go right to the middle and make my line here. And then I go to the next section and I make a middle point in the middle of the uh, the square that I created and I'm making a straight line and then same over here I go to the middle point and I make a line down. So now I have created a different way to make fourths. Let's take a look at the next page, page 563 under step it out. You will need a couple pieces of paper that are the same size if you're going to try this activity or you can always follow along with me. It's your choice. Part one asks us to work with a partner. Use two pieces of paper that are the same size. Fold each paper two different ways. Draw to show both ways. Okay, so if you would like to pause and try this with the paper, um, you may do that and come back or you can just follow along with me. Okay, so at the top of my paper, I'm gonna go ahead and start at this middle point and I'm just gonna fold that paper from side to side. So if I fold it at the top from side to side, um, I will create a crease right in the middle here. And that's one way that I can fold the paper into halves. Another way is to take the middle of the paper and make the fold directly across in the middle. So those are two different ways for us to fold the paper. Okay, let's look at part B. Part B asks us to fold the paper into halves again. So this is a little tricky to show you, but see this part right here where I made the fold? Imagine that it's um, folded on top of each other. So then we would only have this little piece right here, which would be this one. And then same with this piece, if I folded it on top of this one, I would only have this shape right here. So once we've done the fold, they're asking us to fold the paper into halves again. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did up here. I'm just gonna go right to the middle and I'm gonna fold it from one side to the other, 
straight up and down. And then over here, I'm gonna go to the middle and I'm gonna fold that one right there. Okay, so now if I were to open the paper back up again, now I would see some different folds. So what they're asking you to do next is what you would see in the paper. It asks you to draw to show fourths in two different ways. So um, we can show fourths up and down. So we would first do the middle one just like we did, and then we would cut these in, the, in half on both of the sides. And we would have four equal parts. That's one way to have fourths. And then if we go do what we were doing before, we would go in the middle first, and then we'll find the middle part in that top square and the middle part in the bottom square. And now we would have fourths another way with the same paper. Great work. It's time to check our understanding. You can read this problem and push pause and try this on your own if you'd like or follow along with me. Jake wants to cut a tile into halves. Draw two different ways he can cut the tile in half. Again, you can pause now or you can follow along with me. So one way that he could cut the tile in half would be right to the middle, just like this. And another fun way for him to cut the tile would be from one end all the way over to the other end. That would be a different way that he could cut the tile in half. Great job today. As always, you can go back and rewatch this video and pause anytime as needed. Outstanding job.